Yes, Willard. I'm in London and have finished visiting with my friend. Is it all right to come over now for my tour of Scotland Yard? Why, certainly, Auntie. Wonderful. I'm sure I'll get the royal tour, being the aunt of an important Swiss police inspector and all. Oh, Auntie, please. I'm not all that important. Of course you are. Why else would you have been summoned to London to work on such an important case? Well, I'm, I'm sure you've got a mystery of your own to work on. Me? A mystery of my own? Oh, no. I've nothing out of the ordinary to report. Oh, I'm sure, Auntie. I know in the past I found myself smack dab in the middle of an intrigue now and then. But I'm certain this weekend respite to London will be uneventful. Very well. I'll take a taxi straight away. See you soon. Bye. Imagine Willard thinking I've got mysteries up my wing. Oh, it's not like they pop up out of thin air. <laughs> Taxi? <coughs> oh! Here, take this. What? Oh, my. Christopher's Pastry Shop, 25 Shepherd's Court, London. Happy birthday, Millie. What a pity. Someone is without a birthday cake. I shall have to look into this matter after my visit with Willard. Delicious. I say we eat it. Willard, really? It was just a suggestion. Inspector Willard Widgeon here. Yes? Really? Why, the scoundrel! Thank you. Great news, Auntie. There's a new lead in the top secret international investigation I'm working on. How exciting. As you know, Chief Inspector Bufflehead and I were sent to England to represent Switzerland. You see, for the past few months, important government secrets have gone missing. We fear a new worldwide spy ring is responsible. <coughs> oh, uh, Chief Inspector Bufflehead, I was just... I know what you were doing, Widgeon. Gossiping about top secret information. Well, yes, but only to my... I wonder who else you've been talking to about this very important case. No one, sir. Just my auntie. Please, me... Your auntie, huh? What about your sister? Oh, and your brother. But I don't have any of those, sir. Uh, only my aunt, who I'd like you to meet. Widgeon, you are incompetent. You can't be trusted. You have a big beat, and you are off the case. <gasps> oh was certainly poor timing. The whole world knows you're a famous detective except my boss. If he just let me introduce you, he'd realize how invaluable your input would be. I'm certain everything will be fine in the end, Willard. And in the meantime, you can come with me to return this cake. From international pursuer of criminals to delivery duck, all in one morning. I don't have a big beak. And I only told you about the case, Auntie. I promise not to divulge any secrets, Willard. Taxi? Hello again, Mum. Where to this time? To 25 Shepherd's Court, please. Ah, that'd be Winston and Christopher's Bakery. Best cakes in town. That makes my errand even more urgent. This cake was given to me by mistake. <laughs> That cake certainly smells delicious. Why don't you simply eat it? That was my suggestion. There'll be no eating of this cake until it's been returned to the rightful owner. Now I'll just be a few moments. Oh, I do so love the smells in a bakery. May I help you? Yes, please. I would like to know who bought this cake. It was given to me by mistake. I do say you're very kind, 
Most ducks would have eaten it by now. Here, uh, let me. Oh, no, you don't, Christopher. I'll look this up. You are behind schedule with your orders. There. Huh? Come on, Christopher, don't whittle-waddle. We had three orders for birthday cakes with the name Millie on them. For Archibald Dusty Duck, Reginald P. Tree Duck, and Wallace Potchard. Thank you. No, no, no! Christopher! The name on that cake is supposed to be Ophelia, not Daphne. You don't happen to have their phone numbers, do you? Sorry, just their addresses for delivery this morning. Yes, I, I have taken note of those. I think I'm going to find to whom this cake belongs. It's all very mysterious. What a nice thing to do. No, 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 Christopher. Ophelia only has one L. I need a break. Another break? How many breaks do you need? I'm not the only one who's supposed to work around here, you know. And then he said I had a big beak and took me off a big spy ring case. Where to now, Mum? 73 Feather Lane, please. Ah, that'd be Madame Trufflebottom's Waxworks Museum. Taxi! And we're certain countries from around the world are involved. Isn't that incredible? It certainly is. Unbelievable. If you wait for us, I'll tell you even more. I'll look forward to it. We're looking for an Archibald Dusty Duck. I presume he is an employee here at the Waxworks. The ticket agent said we'd find him arranging the wax exhibits. We should split up. I'll go this way. My, this place is certainly unnerving. Waxworks Museum. Is she working on a case, Mr. Um... Inspector Willard Widgeon of the Swiss Police. <laughs> and my aunt is not on a case at the moment, but I am, or rather was. Oh, very hush hush, really, but I can tell you that. <gasps> Auntie! Coming from the Chamber of Horrors! Oh. oh, thank you. Your assistance is most appreciated. Saved by my trusty number eight. Pity. I shall need a new one. Whatever happened, Auntie? I'm afraid someone tried to steal my knitting bag and I fell. Whoever did it got away. I heard footsteps running. I thought you said your aunt wasn't working on a case at the moment. She's not. She's trying to deliver a birthday cake you ordered from Winston and Christopher's pastry shop. A cake? But I have my cake. Or rather, what's left of it. May I see this cake? It was for Millie, who works here. We celebrated her birthday today. How pleasant. You've been most helpful. It would be a great honor if I could take a mold of you, Miss Mallard. You would be a great addition to our famous detective's exhibit. Oh, <laughs> how flattering. Well, that would be a most interesting experience. Call me any time and we shall make an appointment. And perhaps, Inspector Widgeon, you can join your aunt and tell me more about your fascinating case. <laughs> 
I didn't really tell him anything. I, I only just mentioned it in passing. <laughs> Indeed. It would be most kind if you could take us to this address. That would be the Tower of London. Reginald P. Treedock is a guard at the top of the White Tower. And if you decide to eat the cake, I wouldn't mind a slice, if you get my meaning. Uh, thank you. I will keep that in mind. Willard, I shall return momentarily. And what line of work are you in, mate? I'm an inspector.